Hello guys, how's it going? So today we have a new tutorial. It's about creating ornamental shader in Blender procedurally. So it's gonna be totally procedural. And by the way, the file source for this uh, tutorial is available in the link in the description if you get, if you wanna download it for free. And for this shader, it's uh, as I said, totally procedural. You can change the shape of it and have multiple forms of it. So uh, let's get into how we can construct it from scratch in the shader editor. So to start, I will just hide this plane and add another plane to work with it i will add a new material for it and delete the principal bsdf so uh, it will be better if you install the node wrangler add-on so go into edit preferences and type node wrangler and enable it from here so to start we will add a texture coordinate and uh, click Control shift and click multiple times till you reach the object. So these are our coordinates that we are going to work with. The thing that we will uh, want to, constru to construct here is, if you notice here in this uh, plane, the, uh, the shapes are symmetrical in the X and the Y axis so that's what we want to have here in this uh, in our material using uh, shader nodes so to reach that we'll have to bring back our plane that we that we was working on and add a separate XYZ this will let us control the separate axes and uh, manipulate them as we want so as you can see here we have the x socket the y and the z we'll take the x and mirror it and to do that we'll add a math node and set it to absolute so for the guys who are familiar with math this will make sense because the absolute function uh, makes the both sides mirrored. We will do the same for the uh, the y. As you can see, here when we preview it, it will be uh, mirrored in both axes. And the next thing is to combine those by using combine x y z like this. And here we have the new coordinates. So when we plug any function here or any texture, it will be mirrored in the X and the Y. So if we add, for example, a noise texture, it will be uh, mirrored in both axes. So I will use this empty to control the scale of our, uh, our shader in the plane. So as you can see here, the shader or the noise is mirrored in both axes. So to have our ornaments, we have to mix or to use multiple textures. So with I have experimented with many textures and I've come up that when we plug a Voronoi texture like this. So you can see here there is many sockets that we can uh, use. I would be using the distance for now and see what we will get. And I'll plug it to a misgrave texture like that. So we started having our uh, desired shapes already. So if you want to uh, see the misgrave texture, how does it look uh, alone? So this is, this is the misgrave texture when you plug it directly to the output. Let's say we want to have the misgrave texture uh, with our new mirrored coordinates. 
So as you can see here, this is its, sh its shape when using the new coordinates. So I will just bring back our shape. So to have more uh, complexity and uh, more complex shapes, we can add a magic texture here like that and when mani manipulating the depth it will be uh, changing the the overall shape so you can play around with these till you have what you want and you can also change the type of the Voronoi texture to have uh, different shapes here as you can see here they are more squarish shapes can try with the Chibichev, which is not really what we want, but you can play with these other uh, shapes and you may have something that you want. So you can also change the value of the Z here to have uh, other uh, scattering of the, the circles or whatever form is on the plane. And you can also change the Voronoi texture to 4D and you will be able to do the same thing from here by changing the W uh, value here. Sorry for the noisy uh, viewport so as you can see here as we change this uh, value it's morphing into each other and it's giving a really uh, special looking effects what you can do also if you want to have uh, or to set the colors of the two of the two uh, available color set here you can add the mix RGB and plug it into the factor like that and change the color as you wish here let's say something maybe like this let's say just to black it's totally up to you to have any colors you are comfortable with. You can also plug it to a principal BSDF maybe to have maybe a metallic or any color that you're uh, comfortable with or any effect of the shader that you want it to be, maybe decrease the roughness or do whatever you want with it so another another thing that you can do also is to make these uh, shapes even by making the, ra the randomness zero here you can notice that these shapes are even so this can be useful and you can use it in your renders, for example, for the floors or something like that. I think that that's it, guys, for this tutorial. This is a really simple shader. You can uh, find the link to the source file too in the link in the description if you want to mess around with it more. So that's it, guys, for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one, inshallah.